Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing a review on the uh, S&T M40A5. This rifle clocks in at around 200 bucks, and the big appeal with it is that it apparently comes, you know, pre-upgraded with steel internals. So um, I'm going to go over the biggest things about this rifle, the biggest greats about this rifle, and definitely the biggest bads about this rifle. Um, there's a lot to go over with this. This, is, this isn't your usual, you know, VSR-10 uh, simple platform. This rifle um, has a lot to it. So, um, to kick it right off, this does go on Evike for just under $200. Uh, I think it right now is like a $189. Um, and I picked this up as my second ever um, Airsoft Sniper. Uh, I had an, a well MB-05, I think it was the one with that funny stock. Um, and I hated it, and so I ended up, you know, saving up a little more, and I bought this one, and it's, it's been a roller coaster. So, um, the, um, as far as what I've upgraded from it here is just the, the inner barrel. I've added an Angel Customs 6.01 inner barrel. Um, other than that, that's all I've touched as far as performance-wise. What I have on the gun is um, some crappy um, sling I bought at Walmart. Um, it was a hunting sling for shotguns. It was terrible. Don't buy it. Um, do not recommend. I don't even see the brand. Allen. Don't. It's a terrible sling. Um, it's short. Whatever. I have a Nauru scope. You know, it's a, it's a gorgeous scope. I like how you can buy the uh, scope hood to reduce, you know, glare. And I have a high suppressor on the the end of the gun. Um, I added some little bit of uh, tape to it so I don't really reflect when I hit the sun or I blend it a little better to my surroundings. Um, as far as where the suppressor is, um, to start right off with some of the, the cons for this weapon, when this weapon arrives to your home, um, it comes with a muzzle brake. And so it comes with an orange stem and it comes with a muzzle brake. Um, that orange tip isn't too bad to get off. It's just like any other, you know, M4 type tip or just regular orange tips. You just snap it right off and has a pin in it, maybe a little glue, you know. That's okay. The problem that I have with the rest of the gun is me, I love suppressors. I think every gun in the world should have a suppressor. And this one to take off was a pain in the ass. If I wanted, to, it's a little bit of like debris coming off. It was a pain in the ass to, to take apart. Um, I first tried, so the muzzle brake is attached to the barrel as you can see here, or it was right in there. Um, and so what I had to do is, well first I, I, took, a, I took some pliers to it and I scratched the muzzle brake like hell. And then I dipped it in hot water and I tried pliers again and nothing. So what happened was, um, I took it to a tech and he saw it right off. Um, it was, it was glued, there was a pin in there, and the pin was glued, and I think all of the threads were glued as well. So it was just a pain he has to take off. Uh, thankfully that guy took it off for me for free, actually. Um, shout out to the guys at D14 for being amazing techs, generous guys. Um, but yeah, so I have an ice press on it. Um, I don't have the extended barrel version of it. Um, it's just a, you know, a looks type thing, but you know, that's, that's one of those things, you know, you buy the sniper thinking, um, it's going to be great for 200 bucks, but it's really more along the lines if you do not want to customize snipers at all and you want a cheap sniper that will do okay. Um, because that's what this is. So once I finally got it tuned, we'll talk about tuning it in a, in a bit, um, but once I finally got it all tuned up and the scope zeroed in, I was hitting easily. About 150 feet at the at the range up there at D14 easily, you know, like wherever I was looking, bam, I could touch that and hit it with a BB. Uh, at 150, I was shooting, I was shooting three twos. Um, when this rifle ships out, they include two springs, and I installed the one that would give me just under 500 FPS. When I chronoed at D14, I was getting under 500 FPS, and I still couldn't lift anything heavier than like three twos. At three sixes, you could notice like the drop. Um, so that's, that's a really weird uh, concern, um, you know, and it, it has to do with the hop-up. Again, I'll talk about that in a bit. That's a big part of the tuning process is the hop-up. Um,
but that was that was a really um, surprising thing is that I was getting around 500 FPS. I'm just under, um, and I couldn't lift. Um, I, I I could shoot comfortably three twos, um, and anything heavier, so the wind would have moved them. I just couldn't lift as, as much as I'd like to. Um, and so moving on to it, the large part has to do with the hop up. And so um, hopefully I get some B-roll footage in here. Um, the hop up is is a two-stage hop up. Um, so when you um, pull the bolt back, as you would, you get um, sort of two small screws inside. And this is how you adjust the, um, the hop up. You have to take the mag out, this is a fake. Uh, mag well by the way in here. This is where the mag actually goes in. It's one of these mags. Um, you take out the mag and there's two little screws. They give you a specific Allen key to adjust the hop up. It's a long thin Allen key and you adjust the two points of hop up. Um, and while that's good for really precise shots, I mean if you have your rifle generally well set and it's not made by like double eagle or something, it shouldn't shoot left and right. Um, but you know, it has a two-stage or a, a two-way hop-up trigger. I guess it's a PDI type hop-up, um, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> um, I spent so many hours, um, you know, adjusting it and trying to figure out which direction was which. Um, it was a pain in the ass. Um, even with someone helping as well, um, you know, it was it was rough to to really get the hop-up with this rifle. Um, and talking more about the hop-up, the way it works is the screws as well, actually the hop-up screws that you adjust will press on the inner barrel. Um, so what happens is if you try to adjust the hop-up too much, um, you do hit a point where you just can't and you'll know when the screws start hitting the barrel and you can't, you can't put your bolt all the way forward and it'll get stuck because it's hitting that part of the hop-up. Um, so that was really disappointing um, because I was expecting a trigger, uh, a trigger, I'm sorry, I was expecting a hop up that I could, you know, adjust all the way up or all the way down, but I hit a point to adjust it all the way up and that is a large reason of why I can't lift those heavier BBs is because that hop up. Um, I, from what I've seen, for example, the inner barrel is um, VSR 10 compatible. The outer barrel looks like it's VSR-10 compatible as well. The cylinders, the piston look VSR-10 compatible from what I've seen. But again, um, you're not buying this rifle to upgrade it other than maybe the inner barrel. Um, you're buying this rifle because you want something that will get... This is a great starter airsoft sniper. This is amazing. Um, especially once you sit down and tune it. 150 feet is no joke, easily. You know, you'll hit 200. You might even hit 250. Um, consistently, for sure, I can say 150 with 0.32s um, with the uh, under 500 spring. Um, excuse me. Um, so that's a big thing with the sniper is, is the hop up. Um, I don't think that's VSR 10 compatible. I don't think you can switch it out. Um, I think that was made specifically for this gun. I'm not sure. Um, please, you know, leave in the comments down below if you know more about the sniper. Um, and we'll get on to a moment on why this sniper's wall has hit like a roadblock as far as you know people using it. Um, but for now, let's move on to the mags. Um, these are the mags. From what I've seen, they look like M24 mags, um, just without this bottom part. So the way you this goes in is you once you lift up the sniper, you slide it in first, and then the back. There we go. It's a little finicky because I just can't see right. And then this bottom part helps you grip it. Um, or just lines it up. Just makes it easier. Um, but honestly, they look like M24 mags. These mags are a bitch to find easily. So, what I was talking about earlier about there just not being enough information about the sniper rifle is that Evike used to sell these mags and they're out of stock and I do not think they're going to restock ever. Um, because there's no information about the sniper. I think Evike is the only person, um, like big retailer that sells the sniper. And they're the only ones that sell these mags in general. Um, I found two other locations that sold these mags. 
it was some company in, in Germany, I think, that only ships to the EU um, for around like 15 to 20 dollars a mag. Uh, but I'm not in the EU. Uh, and the other option was uh, a retailer in Canada that sell, sells them for 20 dollars a mag and 30 dollar flat rate shipping wherever. So that was a big problem too with these mags. I got super lucky in that um, I had some guys here locally that sold me. Uh, the remaining mags, but these, I mean, I asked online, and other people were also saying, you know, hey, I'm looking for these mags too, let me know if you find some, um, so I might just, you know, make a profit on those mags, because um, I'm looking to sell this sniper soon, to be fair, um, I'm looking to get a, just a, a plain VSR-10 uh, rifle, because this thing as well is, well, it's a nice, I love the M40 platform, I love it, especially the A5 with the, the um, you know, the night vision scope, front rail um it's great um but that hop up is a, is a killer and this rifle in general is a little heavy um i think it goes i think evac said 32 36 grams so about like 7.6 pounds i think last time i checked um it does get a little heavy especially when you're lugging it, lugging it around the field and this fucking scope that i have doesn't help at all um you know the body's made of of a semi-cheap polymer, I don't know, I, I really didn't like the feel of it, and there's of course the metal parts, you know, you got, um, that's a, this looks, this feels like a, a plastic trigger, you know, you got a metal fake, fake mag catch, you got the adjustable cheek rest, um, you got a rail system for the top, so you can put a scope, um, and I think the outer barrel is metal, yes, so, um, you know, this is, um, this rifle can be a pain in the ass. Um, but if you find, you know, for example, one of these with mags, um, and everything just set up, I, I would go for it if it's around $200. Um, just because, um, this is not your not rich swamp sniper sniper, but this also doesn't cost six, seven hundred dollars Um, so that's a big thing too. And, you know, a lot of these, these stuff could... This stuff could be avoided, for example. Um, I, I ordered some, some mags off Evike that, from what I saw, are the same mags, except they don't have this bottom part. They're, they're what I was saying, M24 mags. Um, and so I'm, I ordered some in hopes that they will fit. That way I have um, sort of like a backup or a second option to buying mags because they don't sell these mags anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So that, that is a really big problem as well. Um, these mags carry around 24 rounds each. Um, you know, they're, they're nice mags. They feed fairly decently. Um, but, you know, just the availability of them is, is rough. Um, so if you can find the whole package, that's great. Um, other small stuff about this sniper, um, when, you, when you order it, of course, it does come with two springs. It comes, you know, fully set up. It comes as well, this, this cheek, this butt pad comes with like, um, how do I say it, uh, like extra cut out portions. So it comes with all of them already installed. And then what you do is you take off the screws and then you take off the ones you don't need. That way when you hold it, you know, you just, I, I, I need to adjust it. I had someone else borrow the rifle. Um, you can take off the, the butt plates and adjust how far you want the fixed stock to be close to you. Um, so that's great. Um, you know, it's got the QD slate points so you can add your slings to it. It's got more up here on the side, you know, you can see right there. The bolt pulls a little heavy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm not the strongest guy, um, but the bolt pull does feel a little heavy. That's why I'm probably gonna switch over to a Wolverine, I'm gonna be one of those guys. Um, but yeah, the bolt pull is is fairly heavy. Like for example, I don't think I can pull it with just my finger. Let me see if I can. I got stuck. Right, oh, it's already going. Let me make sure nothing's and let me fire it down. <laughs> down in my home. There we go. It's a little loud too. Um, not as not as loud as I was expecting it to be, but you know. So let me try again, pulling it just with my finger. I, I can I can barely almost make it. So it, it does get heavy. Um, I greased it up. Um, 
I did what I could to it, but you know, this rap was a pain in the ass. Um, and I, I tried making it work, but honestly, I'm probably gonna sell it, but I'm gonna upgrade. So it's not, so for example, if I didn't have the money, I would keep the sniper. Um, <clears throat> because it's not a turbo sniper. Um, it's heavy, it's a great workout, um, and it shoots great at 150, uh, at 150 feet. But you know, I, I have seen more consistent rifles at this FPS. Um, and as far as the weight goes and the customization, you know, no one makes, um, no one makes shit for the, um, the M40 platform. It's, it's all, always the VSR-10, you know, M24 type or M7000 type snipers. Um, so this one, while it comes nice, that's what you're getting. Like at the end of the day, out of all you get from this sniper is you're paying for a $200 rifle and that's what you're going to keep, you know, um. And that's really it. Um, it shoots decent. It's a great looking rifle, um, but as far as as far as like competitive shooting or you know those three hundred these three hundred range feet shots, like probably not. Um, but you know, if you want to start off, I highly do recommend this rifle if you can. You know, find mags. Those mags when they come in, I'll test them out on the rifle, and if they fit, um, I'll put something in the comment section down below. But I don't know, I'm 50-50 on those M24 mags. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, there's not really much else about the sniper. Here's the safety. Um, when when I first disassembled, <laughs> when I first disassembled the rifle, I disassembled this thing like four or five times already. Um, with like, this is the first ever rifle I disassembled. It's fairly easy. If you just keep all your screws in the right place, I guess, and organized. Ah. Um, was that the bolt used to lock and then there was like a little, I guess give that, that, that would happen. You'd like go over like a little ridge and then it would be loose. Cause, but now it's just, you know, it's just loose in general. Um, that didn't happen when the rifle first got here. And that's really it. Um, you know, it's a good rifle. So um, thank you for Waiting for so long for this review. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, how does this rifle shoot? You know, is it worth the money? To cap it all off, it is worth the money, but not as a future investment. If you want to get in, if you want to start sniping, this is the rifle to go if you can find extra mags as well because the 24 mags will run out. I know D14, I was running at around like four mags per game. So I had two mags. I would refill them once per, per the long game. But I shot a lot. Um, so, you know, it's good, you know, it's not a Tokyo Marui, but it'll, it'll do you fine. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, um, uh, for asking me about the sniper. It's, it's a gorgeous piece. Um, but I think that's it for this video. Um, comment down below if you want any more information about it. You know, I'm going to be selling this rifle soon. So get in your, excuse me, get in your, um, questions as quick as you can before this rifle goes out the door. Um, I have also local guys here who have also bought the sniper. Um, so there's something that I don't know. For example, I didn't know that the, um, the hop-up wasn't VSR-10 compatible until someone told me that I also has also owned this sniper. Um, you know, just let me know and I'll ask around or I might just know the answer myself. So thank you for watching um, and have a good day. And I hope this video helped you find what you needed to find. So yeah, peace.